Welcome to Badger Claw. Want you, Jesse? What? Well, there's a cactus. Oh, sorry, Lionel. I can't see nothing. It's so dark out. We getting close? Yeah. There's the cabin there. Lookouts behind us. All the lights are down there in front of us. Both at the bunkhouse and at Rabbit Joe's place. Hmm. Don't see nobody is stirred. Don't hear nobody neither. All right. You remember the plan? I surely do. All right, then. Here's where we part our ways. You've been a good friend, Jesse. If one of us don't make it out, well, I just want you to know I'm glad you was my friend. Same shine on my parcel, Lionel. I'm going to miss you if you get croaked. Well, it might be you who gets croaked, you know. No, I think it'll be you. Well, now, what's that supposed to mean? It ain't nothing personal. It's just that I'm a lick faster than you if it comes to that. What? Jesse, you know that's hogwash. And a better shot, too. Now, hold your gosh darn fillies. I'm also a smidge smaller than you, so if they shooting at us, they's bound to hit you first. It ain't nothing personal, Lionel. I'm just a size in the situation. Why, well, that's just because I got longer legs. They shoot me in the leg, I ain't gonna die. Our torsos is the same. You got the bigger head. That's what they gonna aim for. No, I just got poofier hair. Your hair ain't no poofier than mine, and you know it. You got a lump that protrudes. Our hairs was the same poof, but now you done lost quite a bit. You got a spot there on the back. I do not. You hush. You just trying to get me razzled. I think in a couple of years from now, you might be as bald as an eagle. Just now you're just hollering hog with that comment. Might be worth getting shot for you, just to not have to go through that indignity. Well, ain't no shame in going bald. Not that I am going bald. It's a natural-like process. Natural for an old man that's got them kids and grandkids. But you ain't even snagged a wife yet. Well, neither of you. Yeah, but I ain't bald. You know what? It don't matter. It don't matter. Let's stay focused That now. girl down by the Henderson Ranch, she done smiled at me. Gave me a blushing. Well, that was four years ago, Jesse. She had that there bonnet with the yellow hem. Well, I remember. She was carrying a basket with something tasty in it, I'm sure. And I remember she also ain't got no teeth. That's a lie straight from the pits. She had several teeth. Looked kind of like a barbed wire fence. Almost all the important ones. She ain't got as much as Miss Sally. No, oh, ain't nobody got as much as Miss Sally. Well, I do. You do not. Jesse. We liable to be shot and killed, and you out here sassing and slandering. Well, you ain't want to go off and get croaked with your last words being a lie. All right, fine. Well, I ain't got teeth like Miss Sally does. Thank you. That's all I was saying. Speaking of Miss Sally, we need to get on with the missionating of this here plan. Mm-hmm. You got your gun loaded this time? Yep, with bullets. And you remember the signal? I do. And you remember the Rondas view if and we all survive? I do. Well, then I reckon we ought to get going and not waste the darkness. Miss Sally needs us to be strong now and get down there and get her free. She's hey, guys. Yeah. Jumping junipers, hey. how'd you Where'd get you here? Where come from? Oh, I managed my way out. By yourself? Well, yes. Is that all right? Well, we had us a whole plan we was mission eight. We had a pretty ripe little plan, I think. We done put a lot of thought into yeah. it. Lots could have gone wrong, but I think it was going to work. Sorry. I guess I got impatient. There was a lot of work we put into it. I mean, there was a lot to it. Mm-hmm. We brought guns, and we had a signal, and we thunk it all out. And it was super dangerous and exciting. We was just getting ready to show our sand. We was saying our goodbyes for if and we got croaked. I heard some of that. And the big rescue was the climax. That was sort of the whole point of all this. Well, I think people are going to be disappointed that they didn't get to hear that. Oh, we're still in danger. There's still excitement to be had. I mean, now we done just skipped right over that. It's all right, Miss Sally. We's happy you still alive. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, well, that ain't the issue. It's it's just that all this build up and now you's already out. Here, we done brought you a change of wardrobe as part of the plan. Oh, well, that was clever. We surely was. Yeah. We had a whole scheme and it was quite intricate. How'd you get out of there? Oh, it was a pretty clever plan of my own I had. It involved a hairbrush, a ribbon, a broken chair, some kite string, and even some coyote droppings I found. Oh, see, now I would have liked to hear that. I see you're recognizing your animal poops now. It was pretty exciting. Now ain't nobody gonna get to experience it but you. It's all done and gone. Well, what was your plan? It's too late. No, tell me. No, I'm embarrassed. I was gonna steal some horses. Oh, well, that was a good idea. The plan's all awash now. 
Maybe we can just pick it up from here, Lionel. Well, I reckon we do still need some horses. Yes, that yeah. would speed our escape. Only, they do have a guard making the rounds, and checking on my hold every hour or so. Whistling Jimmy should be doing so now. Discovery of my flight is imminent, I believe. Yep, there he is by the cabin door. I see him. No time for horses now, then. The darkness gives us cover, but I fear my trail in the light of day shall be easily traced by a skilled tracker. Rabbit Joe's the best there is. Yes, he told me as much many times. I guess they've discovered my absence. There's the warning shot. They'll be looking for you now. I see there's Rabbit Joe kindling up a fray, with Lonesome Harry storming out behind him. And the bunkhouse is a stirring, too. We seem to be in a mighty cuss. I reckon we best skedaddle. I agree completely. Yep. It's about to get squally. They gonna be on us like fleas on a mongrel before long. We better scoot. Rally your hawks, Jesse. Follow us, Miss Sally. We'll show you the way. We'll sneak you right on past that lookout they has got on the ridge. I shall do so. Thank you, boys, for coming to rescue me. It means a lot. You're welcome. And Miss Sally? Yes, Lionel? Miss Sally, I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I feel right ashamed. I know you do, Lionel. Thank you for saying that. You're a good man. I see movement on that slope up there. Uh oh. We better get it getting. Kill her if you must. See, Lionel? There'll be danger and excitement yet. You're right, Miss Sally. You're right. Jiminy. Oh boy. Humpkins. 